Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. I wanted to believe in you, Uncle. Louis. No. Don't do it. I can't follow you anymore. Louis! He's won. We put up a good fight, but let's be honest. He won. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah... Uh, I... Where am I? It's alright, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of him since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything at such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? But... but what about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now, and I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, 
he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Bonaparte is not available. I must ask you to please... What's wrong with him? Uh, he is feeling faint. He will make a swift recovery with some calm and rest. Uh... Look, as well as being a fellow countryman, Napoleon is above all a dear friend. I... Uh, of course, sir. I, I, I was not aware... I think it's perfectly natural for me to be worried, and for you to let me go to him. Uh, oh, yes, sir. I, I was not aware, sir. Um, uh, I shall let you be with him a few moments in that case, sir. Thank you, my good man. The Holy Lance. Luckily, Napoleon couldn't put it back in its place. At last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so. Given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, you won't be needing it anymore and I prefer to put it back in its place. I no longer have it. Didn't Monsieur Bonaparte give it back to you? No. So, the rascal stole it from you, did he? Uh, it's not something I'm proud to admit, but yes, he thought I was trying to rob you and that it would compromise the conference. Oh, how typical of him. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. Oh. Just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart causing the death of the most promising of the two. I remain proud of what you achieved for me by falsifying that letter to the Pope on behalf of Piaggi, because I know that was not an easy task. Anyway, now it's time to put an end to things, once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you, through your own faults. Don't you worry about it, Father. I'm a demon, and I'm your son. I'll make it through. I don't think so. I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. 
You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. You dirty bastard! That's what you had planned for me all along, isn't it? I was never anything more than the envelope for your next life! Oh, please. Do let us try and retain some dignity, shall we? Let's not fall prey to being pathetic. We're better than that. You bastard! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation. Because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. Von Vollmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States, on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court, and had to retire to the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. They say that the Duchess inspired her novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in the year 1816. His Eminence Piaggi, Having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the Cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic commitments. Fascinated by the techniques of exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. On his return to Paris, Peru gave himself up to his peers of the revolutionary courts. He admitted to being implicated in several state corruption cases. Found guilty of treason toward the Republic, he was executed without a trial. <laughs> 